Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, I know it's been a bit. Um, and I apologize for that right off the bat. Um, I was on a roll and then I stopped, so sorry. Um, today's video is going to be on leftover cereal. Uh, parents, you get it, you know, you all, I'm sure you all have leftover cereal. These happen to be Honey Nut Cheerios. I've got some Frosted Flakes here. Frosted Flakes. Fruit Loops. Sorry. Frosted Flakes are right here. Those are our favorite. Can you tell? But look at all this waste. And I'm telling you, as soon as I put a new box in the pantry, they forget about this. Even though they say, oh, I need them. Oh, man, I love Fruit Loops. Yes. Until you get that brand new box in there because we're running low, then they forget about these poor little leftover Fruit Loops that there's nothing wrong with. And these bags, you know, are really, really good. They keep them fresh, so it's not like they're stale or anything. Especially if you use the clips I do, which, let me give you a little tip. These, you can buy them at any supply store, office supply store. They're awesome. They work better than any uh, chip clip that you will find out there that are like decorative and everything. These are will work forever buy these instead anyway that's my rant about that enough about that okay so here are the fruit loops and i'm thinking what am i going to do with all these fruit loops i don't want to throw them away it's a waste that's not fair they're not going to eat it they're going to say they eat it and then by the time i do find them at the, in the back of the pantry it's going to be months and then i'm going to say okay they're not good anymore and they might be good, I don't know. But then you start thinking, oh, they're not good and you didn't throw them away and you're feeling bad. Okay, so enough about that. So I'm thinking, well, I can crush them and put them on a cake. So I went to Walmart and I got me these cute little rounds. They're little six inch rounds. And it looks like this because I've already greased it. Um, and I'm gonna make small vanilla cakes. And these, I think, are like a dollar at Walmart. And um, kind of crush these up and then put it all over the cake. And that way it goes. And it's super cute. And everybody gets to have a treat. And you you aren't being wasteful. So let's give this a ring. I'm going to go ahead and get my Ziploc bag here. I wish these were smaller. And I'm kind of upset with myself because I'm using the gallon size uh, freezer bags. Which... You know, they're more expensive than just the regular freezer bags, but that's all I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. But if you think about it, if you do want to save money, you can save these bags as your leftover cereal crushing bags. Because they're thicker, because they're meant to be in the freezer, and they're bigger. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Here they are. Rolling pin. My oven is already preheating at 325 for the dark coated um, pans that I have. So, you could put this in one of those, what do you call it? I don't even know what to call it. You know, the pulsers. But the whole point of this is to do it quickly and not spend so much time in the kitchen and get a treat in for your family that they were not expecting. So, and it's kind of like, um, can I put it? It's kind of like an SM ASMR video with all the crunching that you're doing. So I'm going to do um, one round for the Fruit Loops and one cake, the other cake round because I bought two or they come in sets of two for Frosted Flakes and we're going to give it a whirl. All I'm going to do right here is crushing. You don't want to like make it into a powder because then it ends up like an ugly 
gray powdery mix. You just wanna you wanna know what it is, but not actually see, actually see the whole round of the fruit. Loop. This would be a great um, after school sweet treat. So now that we're all going back to school with our kids. Okay, I think that's good enough. That's all I did. Kind of like a fun fetty, except it's not. Okay. So, like I said, these are a dollar at Walmart. Not bad, right? Duncan Hines. This is just classic white. They had double food cake, which I have one right here. They had dark chocolate, yellow. Um, I think that's all I saw. But for a dollar, you can't beat that. So, let's go ahead and put it in here and follow the directions. I know there's um, videos out there on like professional bakers who put milk instead of water. Like they replace the milk, I mean, no. They replace the water with milk um, inside their store-bought cake mix. And I've never done that. Um, supposedly it works and I'm sure it does because they're the professionals, but just to go off the directions and because I've never done it, I don't wanna mess you guys up and then it not turning out well because I didn't use whatever brand of cake mix they were using. And maybe it does work for all cake mixes, I don't know. So I'm just gonna go off the directions, which is uh, three large egg whites, which I've already separated for you all here. I'm putting them in. A third of a cup of vegetable oil. And yes, there are healthy substitutions. I know you can add like applesauce. Just do you, but I'm going off the box. And, oh, and my water. Hello, I didn't get my water. Let me get my water really quick. Sorry about that. Let me just start mixing this at least. Why didn't I think of that? Er. Hold on real quick, let me get my cup of water. Sorry about that, one cup of water. Done. Okay. So let's just get in there and mix. and make these cute little cakes so we can get rid of our, our, our leftover cereal. Um, I think it'll be a good um, texture, you know, to add to your cake, like something a little crunchy on top, and it'll taste good because it's nice and sweet. Um, I do have the Honey Nut Cheerios, which I'm not sure what cake mix would go good with that. Maybe like um, a spice, right? Like a spice for fall is what I'm thinking. But just because we're doing this for the first time here, we're gonna keep it simple and know that what is probably gonna go well together. Vanilla cake Fruit Loops and vanilla cake Frosted Flakes. So right now I'm just whisking away. Yes, you could have your little mixer out and you could have your um, little devices, but I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna take all that stuff out and I can just use my muscles since, I don't know about you all, but I haven't been really getting any exercise in for the last few months. And that's just plain out of laziness, truthfully, because there's no reason for not to at least go out for walks. I'm not going to say run, because I don't run. I tried that. 
doesn't work for me. I'm very, very short. My legs are short. I don't, I don't look good running, probably. In fact, I know I don't look good running. But I did try it once. Just not my cup of tea. But admire those that do run and keep at it. More power to you. Okay, so here I am, whisking away, getting all the lumps out like they say to do. Go ahead and get all this incorporated. Okay, looks like we are done. Mmm, it smells so good. That's another thing. Our family isn't big on cake. Even on birthdays, like I try and get this, either I make a cake or try and buy the smallest cake out there for them because literally we'll celebrate that day and if there's leftover cake, it just stays behind. I know it's terrible. We end up throwing it away. And since we're not going back to work anymore, it's not like if I can just bring it to work for my coworkers or anything. We're not visiting, so it's not like if you'll have, you know, family or friends coming over so they can eat cake, nothing like that. So it just gets thrown away. I mean, they tell me what cake they want for their birthday, I go get it, and it doesn't matter how good it is that day, we will never go back to it. Go figure. So I'm thinking these little rounds are perfect because they're so small that for our family, that's gonna be more than enough. And I get rid of the cereal. So, okay, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the rounds. Halfway each, I guess. The little rounds at Walmart cost me about eight dollars, which isn't bad, right? All things considered, super cute. You know, you're gonna use them forever. gonna frost them with vanilla icing and then put once they you know once they've come out of the oven and cooled then we'll put the vanilla icing on and then put the crumbles all over the cake I think it'll be awesome sorry I'm making a mess here just trying to get it even So this will actually be my, my ninth video. And I was doing a lot of HEB, um, HEB like, you know, comparisons. Um, and that's good. But today I'm like, you know what, let's do something a little different. Just a little different. Okay, I'm making sure all of them kind of have the same amount. And not trying to get all this out. It smells awesome already. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. That's already been preheated. Where's my napkin? Thought I had one up here. clean it up a little bit. Okay, straight into the oven and we'll be back to see how they turn out. 
Okay, so now the cakes have baked. They were in there for about 30 minutes. Look how cute they came out. This is perfect for just a sweet treat, like in the middle of the week or something. And I've got my vanilla icing, and I just got regular vanilla icing. And I'm gonna go ahead and frost one of them. And I was thinking, I have chocolate icing. I wonder if I should make the other one chocolate and have the frosted flakes on that one. What do you think? Or should I just make them both vanilla? Hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna frost this. And I'm not a professional, so I'm probably not doing it as nice as it could be. But as long as it's on there, right? And as long as it gets on there, I think we're gonna be okay. And once I frost all this cake, I'll go ahead and just add the Fruit Loops onto it. And that is going to be my take on this video today on how to get rid of that cereal that's sitting in your pantry and kind of make a sweet treat out of it. for the end of the week. It could be like the end of the week, um, um, making it through the first week of um, school. I know where I'm at, we're doing virtual for the first two to three weeks, I think two weeks. So it's gonna be a huge accomplishment if we get through this week without um, any hiccups. But let's not beat up ourselves too much on that because we're all new to this. Okay, so I know some of my baker friends will be like, well, really not, so you could have done a better job. But guess what? I'm just trying to get rid of some cereal. Let's not make it any more than what it is, right? Okay, it's going to have to be like that. Oh. Okay, and I already crushed the Fruit Loops. You guys did that earlier. See? And let's go ahead and just sprinkle, sprinkle. Make it pretty, pretty. This is something you can even do for just like your neighbors and stuff. Kind of send something sweet over. Maybe they have small children at home. I know there's probably a better way to do this, but let's just get it on there. And now that I think about it, if you keep it in little containers like this, you know those late night um, snacks that you know you have a hankering for? Just put the milk in here. Boom. Sometimes if it's already like prepared and if it looks easy and it's already prepared in front of them, they're like, oh yeah, I kind of want some cereal all of a sudden. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Just gonna pass one of them that's not crushed. Did we do a good thing? We'll see how it turns out. And these are just ideas you guys could probably come up with so many more. But if it gets your creative creative side of your brain going, you can come up with all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay, maybe that side needs more. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Got 
some more in there. Yay! This is actually fun. It's something uh, also you can do with your kiddos if you have small kiddos. Get them involved. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. And then all the excess. Well, maybe not. Anyway, what do you think? Isn't that cute? And it's like not big. Cause look, this is just a regular plate. It fits the middle of it. We're gonna cut it in a minute. Now, let me go ahead and do the frosted flake one real quick. I think I'm gonna do just a regular vanilla also. Mm -hmm. Have you all ever heard of breakfast cake? Breakfast cake in our family is just a yellow cake that I would make on like a Sunday evening or a Saturday morning, depending on how tired I am, and not put any frosting on it, and let my kids have it, and my husband, have it for breakfast with some milk or some coffee and it's so good literally just yellow cake mix without the frosting it's like a substitute for I don't know and probably even healthier than a donut or um, any sweet um, bakery item that you might have in the morning but no frosting and it just hits the spot and it's quick and fast I usually do it in like a, in a 9 by 13 and actually can stay good for up to a few days so you can actually have it Few, few days in a row. So good. So it's that I do. I don't do it very often, but I've done a lot, and my family really seems to enjoy that. That's another thing that you could do with cake. Okay, so did that. Now this is a Fruit Loops. That's what was left over. Not bad, right? We used a lot of it. And oh, this is my frosted flakes that I did also uh, break up. And this is something else. Look, you could just put milk in there and boom. And I'm telling you, presentation is key. If they see this, they're like, oh, look, it's already made for me. I'll just put the milk in it. That's another way to get rid of it. I thought this was kind of interesting and uh, fun way to use it. Maybe Yum. I don't think I've ever had frosted flakes on a cake before, so this would be different. You know, I was thinking cinnamon toast crunch also would probably be really good on um uh that um a pumpkin spice cake because it's like cinnamon -y. what do you think tell me tell me oh this is kind of cool what you think yum okay what you think what you think what you think boom Yum. Oh, I kind of like this one better. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm not a... Like, this looks more, like, kid-friendly. And this is more, like, adult with some poppy. And since I'm I'm uh, going towards um, leaning on the adult side for this cake, 
I think I'm gonna cut the tilt one. The tilt one. Okay, let me see. What am I going to do? It's so little and cute. Oh, it's real spongy. Let me get another plate. I don't have any small plates. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, what did we come up with? Yay! Oh, look at the crunch on that. It's gonna be so good. Let me tell you how it ties. Mmm. The texture of the frosted flakes. So good. With the sponginess and creaminess of the frosting. It's different. I like it. With some milk coffee on the side. I think we got a pretty good dessert. All right, I'll, I'll uh, cut the other one as well. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Put this one to the side. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. This reminds me of like birthday cake or something. Yeah. See how pretty that is. You can even do this like as um, like a little gift idea or something. Mm. All right. We're going in for the Fruit Loops. It's good, and I'm not into sweets a lot. It's different. It's good. Have you ever had fruit loops on a cake? Hmm. I might have started a trend. So good. Try it. Try it. Yum. Oh. Mm mm mm. Okay. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna go ahead and done. Um, getting back on track, start getting back on track and um, doing more of these videos. But if you have any ideas, just go ahead and message me. I'll be more than happy to try them. Cute. Where's my other cake? Super cute. Ooh, girl. We done good. Look how fluffy that is. One dollar cake mix. Can't beat it. Okay. Bye, y'all. See you soon.